most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the oldest of all cup competitions, the FA Cup. It's Lincoln City versus City. Well, what an occasion this is for the home side and its supporters. Yes, of course, they're up against it today, but how they would love to cause a shock here. If they work as hard as they can, close their opponents down, defend with determination and get a little bit of luck, they may just pull off a surprise. And the lineup for the home side. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And here's the starting lineup for City. Well, they're also playing in a 4 3 3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. Thank you, enjoy the game. Well, he has the measure of his man. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Can he make it count? It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, let's take another look and it's a very good goal and they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Crossing possibilities. Oh, surely. There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, not cleared away completely. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, here it is again. And when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that, it's a poor clearance, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net.
There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, going forward, that was an impressive display. They played with good width, they looked to get the ball forward early, and there were some outstanding individual performances. They'll certainly go into the next round full of confidence. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him. Welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the oldest of all cup competitions, the FA Cup. It's City, and they face Northampton Town. Thanks, Derek. Well, the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact are well drilled defensively and are a threat on the counter-attack. If the hosts don't go through though, it will be a major upset. And here's the starting lineup for City. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Now sending it in. There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, let's take another look. And I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. Can they find a response now? Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Big chance! Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Could be! Oh yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment! Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. It should be. I have 
have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So the corner played into the box. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Lansbury. Well, as you can see from those stats, City are enjoying the majority of possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch. And I... In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. There's the final whistle. The home fans are jubilant. They are going through. Yeah, it doesn't come much easier than that, does it? I thought they played well, and it was an excellent overall performance, particularly going forward. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's City, and they take on Derby County. Well, Derek, players and fans love a cup competition, and although we're a long way away from the final, both teams will be looking to book their place in the next round in the hope of a good run in this tournament. And here's the starting lineup for City. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Good luck. And here's how it looks for Derby County. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. Thank you. Enjoy the game. It's looking promising. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. City move it forward with purpose. Now delivering that deep cross. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Falling home with precision and style. Superbly done.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Not a bad pass it was. It is a decent looking attack here. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity and momentum is with them. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? And that's it, the final whistle, and the hosts will go through. Yes, it was tight, but they won't worry about that. They had to be resilient at times. There were periods where they were put under pressure and they couldn't get full control of the midfield. But they're through to the next round, and that's what matters. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is. Cameras trained on one man. He starts today, but might he be retiring? Stay with us for all the action on EA TV. Hello, it's a real pleasure to be with you from West London, from Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have FA Cup action to bring you from the round of 16, just moments away. It's Chelsea versus City. Well, Derek, although the hosts are clear favourites, this could prove to be a tricky game for them, unless they score an early goal, because their opponents will sit deep, remain compact, and defend with determination. They also pose a threat on the counter-attack and are really good at set plays. It's going to be an interesting one. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa begins in goal. Lukas Klostermann plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Hakim Ziyech plays with Raheem Sterling out wide. And beginning the game up front today, Tammy Abraham. Number six, Thiago Silva. Number 21, Ben Chilwell. Number seven, N'Golo Kante. Number 12, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. And here's the starting lineup for City. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Thank you, Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game. Chilwell an incisive pass Ziyech big chance in it goes the goal for 1-0 and that changes the dynamic well as the replay shows us Ziyech's pass is inch perfect but you do have to ask questions of the keeper could he have done better here I think so you can't be beaten at your near post like that Referee's verdict. And short it is. Sterling. Can he finish? Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. 
And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Full time, and it's Chelsea who progress. Yeah, I thought it was a fairly comfortable win in the end. They played really attractive football at times, and there were some good individual performances. They'll certainly be happy going into the next round. Well, it really is wonderful to watch Raheem Sterling when he's on top of his game, and that has certainly been the case here, Stuart. Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.